All right, it's kind of a been a bad morning raining. I wanted to show you my colony. Right here, I've got a tree swallow nest. Now look close, you'll see the tree swallow sticking his head out. This is what I usually do. This is how I talk to him. Morning there, Mr. Tree Swallow. Maybe Mrs. Tree Swallow. Now it's okay to check on their nest. Let's see how things are going. And she's hot. Is there anything in there? Now, I usually take my finger and feel around. Nothing but feathers, but Mama's probably getting ready. Now, that's okay. The human scent doesn't bother them. Now, I've got something else going on here. I've had some house sparrows trying to steal a nest from a chickadee. The chickadee's nest is right in this one. I just saw the house sparrows on this, and I've been trying to shoot them from the window of my garage with no luck yet. But I am going to be persistent and get them today. But let's see if this chickadee has been bothered by house sparrows. Hey, Miss Chickadee, you in here? You in here, Miss Chickadee? Hmm? Are you in here, Miss Chickadee? Huh? Anybody in there? No, nobody's in there. But I like the nest bowl. That looks good. Now I'm going to stick my finger down there and make sure them eggs are still in there. Daggone, the eggs are gone. I bet the house sparrows is taking it. I had three chickadee nests. Three chickadee eggs in there. House sparrows will take them out and fly away with them. So those house sparrows, I'm going to try to catch it on video today. But I've been watching them get that. I'm looking on the ground right now for eggs. Alright, let's see if these house sparrows have been getting in this tree swallow box where I saw them. That would be nice. Why don't y'all just get your own box? There's free vacancies all over the place, but them dang house sparrows has got to got to be mean and take from our, our native birds. There you go. Thank you. Got a tree swallow pair there. Hopefully they'll claim that gourd. That tree swallow box. This is uh, April 23rd. My purple martin colony. That's Purple Martins in Kentucky on April 22nd, 23rd maybe, I'm not sure. Tree Swallow on, up on top of the Super 36 rack. Alright, let's go check the Bluebird Nest. Bluebird Nest is back there by that tree. We're going to walk around the driveway here. Tree swallows do fine with an active martin colony. I don't even let tree swallows bother me here in Kentucky. What few come in here, they're not going to hurt my martins at all. I would worry at a new colony though. Although, I think maybe tree swallows help me get martins at Bernheim Forest. All right, now right here is my bluebird box. Real nice, right on the edge of my driveway. I've had a female bluebird in there sitting on the eggs. We're going to check on this. Hello, Miss Bluebird. You in there? Mama, you in there? Mm. Watch this. This is nice. Mama, you in there? Yeah, she's in there. Let's take a peek at her. What's Mama doing? Yeah, Mama's on the eggs, isn't she? I've been watching out for you, Miss Mama. I have protection predator guards so that a cat won't climb and steal your babies this time. You be good. You take care of them eggs. See my predator guard? I've had a cat climb up here. Kind of hard to do with one hand. Alright, there it's latched. 
I think she knows that I'm taking care of her, but we're going to back away here a little bit. See if she scares out. She probably won't, but watch her make a liar out of me. I think she's beginning to trust me. We have had a lot of rain. I'm surprised it quit long enough for me to do some filming. Speaking of rain, I might have an opportunity where I need to feed my Purple Martins. When there's a whole lot of rain and wind, they don't eat. Insect flight decreases. There's a house barrel up there, up on this tree swallow box. How am I going to take care of it? I'm going to sneak in my garage. I have a window on the side. Sounds mean, but when you see these tree swallows, when you see these house sparrows, witness what I just witnessed up here in this box. They kick the eggs out of the chickadee's nest. There was eggs in there. Now they're gone. And I've been watching them the past few days. They were all over that box. I think they've harassed it enough where they've thrown the eggs out. The box that that house sparrow is on has been empty. Why did it have to go over there and kick out the eggs? They're mean. They're evil. They're mean to our native birds. There's a house sparrow right there. I'm going to get my pellet gun take care of business. See that American robin back here on the step? She's got a nest here. And although you've heard that you're not supposed to touch the eggs or anything, I think that's an old wives' tale. Keep children from getting into the bird nest and tearing things up. Okay, I was wrong. Mom's still in there. Hello, Miss Mom. Hello there, baby. Let's check out your babies. What have you got in there? Can we see anything? I can't see. So I'm going to feel my fingers, make sure that, okay, there's still eggs. Good. One, two, three, four. Looks like four eggs. Now I'm going to pull this branch down to where I can see, because I don't want a cowbird egg in there. Okay, good. That is pretty. Look at those. Now, although I've fooled with that, you can hear Miss Robin hollering at me. Right there. She'll get right back to business. Now I might not catch it on film because I don't I'm not gonna blow two minutes of time here and download it on the internet, but she'll go right back. I check my nest like that every day. You think that's bad? It's not. I'm making sure no snakes have crawled up here and got them. I don't have the neighbor's cat eating my baby birds. All right, I've taken care of business. The house sparrow is laying on top of that tree swallow box. Now, I'm gonna back out here and show you what I did. I'm in my garage. You wanna see something funny? Wonder how that hole got in my window. Yeah, that's right, I did it. I was, not just now, but yesterday. I'm gonna back out here and show you, show you what I got. Now just hang on a minute. I'm in my truck. This is inside my garage. There's my ladder. There's my gun. Sounds evil, but I'm telling you, that house sparrow busted the eggs of the black capped chickadee that was raising a family. There's three other empty tree soil boxes, but they had to kill our native bird. That's why I'm doing our native birds a favor and protecting my martin colony. That's how come I have so many purple martins and so many tree swallows and bluebirds because I run out the thugs. Now, he's out there on top of it taking a forever nap. 